In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to transform our render into a digital collage. So let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Steven. I am the creator of Show It Better. And in today's video, I want to show you a process of transforming a, a render, a normal render, into a post-digital collage. We have to be able to transform our pro the representation of our projects. And if they are well-structured, if the composition is balanced, if the color is on point, then it shouldn't really matter what uh, representation you choose. For example, I have these two results from the same project with the same composition, the same uh, point of view, the same uh, uh, people inside, everything, every element was the same. Uh, the thing that changed was the graphic representation of it. So I think it's important, uh, I think it's interesting if you guys take a look at how this process is, is developed. So let's get started at how all of this was done. Okay, so let's go into Photoshop. And as you guys can see, this is the base render and this is the base render file. So the first thing I have to do is obviously save it as another file. And uh, one of the first steps that we do right now uh, is turn the base render off. So we go to the base render layer and we turn it off because that is the run, that is the, the base that gives it that renderish feel that we don't want, right? We just want the textured layer. So when you guys are working in SketchUp, I think when you're working in V-Ray, you have a channel in like a render ID channel, uh, material ID, there's a, a diffuse layer, right? And this diffuse layer just exports the textures that are in your uh, render. So in this case, this was the export of my diffuse layer. And as you guys can see, it's the, only the base textures. There's no render effect to it. So the first thing that we have to do is turn this into our base, right? So we're going to turn off our render and our diffuse uh, or our textures, we're going to put them as our base. The second step we're going to do is turn on the hard shadows, all right? So uh, in SketchUp, again, you can uh, set up a style where you can only see the shadows, then you export these shadows as a JPEG or as a PNG and overlay them on top of this image. So that is the second step, which is turning your hard shadows on, right? We don't want any soft shadows because that's part of the render feel. We, for the post-digital collage, we have hard, very uh, strict, delimited line shadows. The third step is going to be to merge the people and uh, put them a, a filter uh, on top of, right? So you can first go to your the, the folder of all the people and right click on merge layer. Then what we're going to do is going, we're going to go to filter gallery and in this case, I used the cutout effect, which gave me a more like a painted uh, illustrator type kind of feel to the people I had in my render. But if you want to take it to the next level, I recommend you import these, this file, this, uh, this PNG of people into Illustrator and you vectorize them and you turn them into just, to just one or two colors. So that's going to give it a very, very nice effect, a very illustration effect as well. The next step we're going to do is we're going to do the, thing, the same thing that we did with the people with our basic uh, motif. So right here I'm doing with the mountain, uh, which is also uh, applying the filter gallery and making it a little bit more um, illustration style, which I'm going to change in the future. But for now, I think that's the, the first step that we can do. The fifth step is to add a lot of textures, right? The first one is going to be our texture of the sky. And why is this? Because these textures, and these have to be very high resolution image textures, right? So this is, uh, for example, this is a canvas texture that I'm adding to the sky to make it look, you know, much more, uh, with a more much more illustration feel, right? So first add an illustration and, uh, make it a canvas illustration. Now, the windows that we colored, that I, I, I imported from Photoshop, that I made like in very renderish, very night windows, I'm just gonna turn all of that off and I'm going to leave all of my windows white or you just wanna have a solid color, right? So not a lot of textures, just one big texture, in this case is more or less like white and just have a big solid texture. 
the next step is i'm going to import another type of paper texture and i'm going to overlay the overlay it to, with the mountain uh the mountain uh crop right so this is going to make my image when we zoom in make look very very interesting and look much much uh, illustration collage style right so as you as you guys can see uh, i downloaded all these graphics all these textures from spoongraphics.com these are free textures so i'm, I'm just uh, just go to spoongraphics.com. You can download them, uh, or if you can make your own textures, take a photo of a a paper, take a photo of uh, I don't know a canvas, and import it. And the more textures you have, the more interesting your image is going to look for this style. And as you guys can see, I'm refining the texture of the sky. So I added the canvas texture, and now I'm going to add another paper texture, which has like a little more dirt to it you know it has a different feel to it which gives it you know much much more uh, richness to the image it makes it look much much more inter more interesting and finally i'm just going to uh, make some quick final adjustments i can go you, you guys can do the you know the typical thing which i did here which is more like the the equivalent of the birds in our in a render which is you know like very something that is very overused uh, is a sun like a white sun or a, any color sun is something that is very overused you can use you can do it it looks kind of cool sometimes and it makes your image pop that those were the basic steps one of the key points here is to understand uh, the importance of textures as you guys can see what made the image uh, post digital collage was the whole sky these mountains that were textured uh, you know all this minimal but important things right so uh, I recommend you guys have a ton of textures in your library from uh, paper textures to concrete textures or wood textures these can be textures that are from your house that are taken uh, with, with a camera with a normal camera but those were just give it a lot more depth in the end your image will look just more interesting and it will have a set of layers a visual layers when we just see the image on the computer. So I think those are one of the most important keys to transforming your render into a post-digital collage. Now let's say we would we were to do this backwards, right? So you you could have the so you could have the post-digital collage done right now and you want to transform it into a render. Now that's a most more complicated process, but if you took out a base render like we did, then it's just a matter of adding elements, of adding soft shadows, of adding, uh, you know, reverse engineering everything that we are just doing. So I hope you guys like this video. I know that we are in a time that it's very, very hectic, very um, complicated for many of us because we're, we're in quarantine. Uh, we are in a pandemic that is affecting all of us around the world, no matter what country, race, whatever you are, what age. This is affecting everyone. So this is a time for us to be creative to you know spend time with our family with uh, our loved ones and also uh, make the best out of this time you can't just sit around and watch tv all day because it's just after one week it gets a little bit tiring and we have to do stuff we have to work on something be creative so i suggest my suggestion is just be creative uh, start reading start learning a new skill uh, distract yourself with maybe these videos or some videos that are more or less uh, educating and just spend this time working on yourself, uh, spending time with your family. And I, I hope that this can uh, work itself out as fast as possible. We don't really know how much, how long it's going to be, but I hope it can just be uh, resolved as fast as possible. So I hope you guys are well. I give you, I, I sent you guys a very warm hug from Colombia, from where I am. And I hope you guys stay safe and stay inside. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.